I said to Claire, I said, listen, we can either live together or we can get married. I'm not sure I can handle both at the same time. And to my relief, she said, well, why don't we get married and keep our own places? That's what I was hoping to hear. You know, when you're young, you know, you, oh, we're so in love. Oh, now it's like, listen, I love you, but you, you need your space. I need my space. Hi, hon. Colette lives in her apartment. Hi. Which is on Grove Street in Greenwich Village. And I am directly due north of her on West 23rd Street between 7th and 8th Avenue. This is the back seat of some van that I found on the street one day. And uh, if there's ever an earthquake, there's seat belts built right into the chair there, so that's pretty convenient too. So we kind of consider 7th Avenue a long hallway between each of our domiciles. Getting married to me, I guess it's a state of mind. I don't see why we have to live together. Well, I, don't, I don't need to see him brush his teeth. You know, it's enough I have to see him brush his hair. That was the secret, the secret of their marriage, the secret of modern love. Yeah, I've been standing for change and singing in these streets. As you might be able to tell, I am moving from my own bachelor pad where I've lived while being married for the last four and a half years. And I'm moving to my wife's apartment and we will try the experiment in cohabitating. So this is really a financial move. My rent, last November, uh, my landlord jacked it up to 1800 a month. Colette, who has been in her apartment for 31 years, her rent stabilized apartment, is only now paying a little over $800 a month. Her apartment is classic village plumbing. There's no a bathroom per se. There's a little room with a toilet off the bedroom. And the kitchen sink is the sink. And there's a stall shower in the kitchen. You don't realize how much a bathroom comes in handy until you don't have one. You're not sleeping in here. Listen, it depends. There's other factors involved here, whether or not I stay in this room. Most importantly, it depends on what's on HBO and whether or oh, not no. I have oh, HBO no, outside. Sorry. He has his room. He's going to stay in his room the weeknights. A little combination lock and no one's getting in. On Friday, Saturday, and maybe Sunday, he can come into my room. We're still newlyweds in terms of actual together time. But now we're transitioning into a real-time marriage. So, you know, the, the whole gestalt is going to be twisted. Separate newspapers. I'm wondering, like, where I'm going to put my shoes. I'm not coming home and cooking. She's an evening shower person. Oh, this is horrible. You know, this is it. I mentioned to my ex-husband that we were going to live together now. And I don't know if I should be insulted, but he said, I give it four months. Hold on, Alan. Be brave. Oh, the hard time is just coming. <laughs>